Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we'll be looking at the definition of cash flows for investing activity, also known as investing cash flows. As we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I'll give you the actual definition and then we'll go on to look at some examples and give you more insight. Cash flows from investing activities represent the net change in cash from the use or sale of income generating assets. Cash flow from investing activities found on the cash flow statement is a measure of the total cash generated or lost by a company's investments. Typically included in this calculation are cash flows from stocks, bonds, physical property, and money made or lost from the buying and selling of subsidiaries. Now let's go look at some examples. For this example, we'll be looking at Walmart Stores Incorporated, the cash flow statement. This is where this uh, information is found. We're looking at the annual data here, right here. And you could be looking at quarterly data, but on that particular situation, whenever you're looking at uh, your financial statements, if you're looking at quarterly data, a lot of companies will vary from one quarter to the next. So it's easier to just look at annual data. And if you're going to look at quarterly data, be sure you compare uh, the quarter of one year to the identical quarter of another year. Uh, don't just look at the most... Uh, you know, a series of quarters like the fourth quarter and third quarter and compare those two because you could have companies having extremely different uh, results in those different quarters and be totally fine. It's just they have varying results for different ty times of the year. So it's important that you know that and that's why we're using the annual data. Now if you also have been watching these videos uh, um, covering the cash flow statement, you know that the first section, the operating activities section, uh, covers the, how the company actually um, makes its money through the running of its business by either selling its services or its product. And that's how we prefer a company to make its cash. There's another way for a company to generate cash and that's through the investing activities. And in this video series we've already covered all these items above here. We're looking today at the total cash flows from investing activities. Total meaning everything of all the line items in the investing activities section meaning capital expenditures right here this negative 12.8 um, billion dollars added to the investments. It's negative 316 million dollars. And then this other section here is positive 603 million dollars. So we add all that up and that gives us our total cash flows from investing activities. That's what that comes from. Okay. All right. As a basic rule of thumb, you want to see the total cash flows from investing activities as a negative number. Um, you would uh, C positive and uh, not every negative is going to be a good thing and not every positive is going to be a bad thing but just as a general rule of thumb you would expect to see a negative here now the cash flow statement simply tells you that cash is either flowing into the business or out and it shows you how that's coming in or out so if it were um, a positive number on the total cash flows from operating activities right here you know that they're generating cash through the operating activities running their business that's a good thing if you had a positive number here the total cash flows from investing you would know that cash was flowing in from their investment activities the only way that can happen is that they're actually selling their uh, long-term investments so for example uh, rather than buying stock uh, when seeing a negative number where cash would be flowing out to acquire that stock they'd be selling that stock and then cash would be flowing back into the business from selling that stock there are times when you would want to do that um, but for the most part, you would expect a company to be generating a whole bunch of cash through the operating activity section and then finding places to put that cash in other, either expanding their business model, uh, making themselves a larger footprint, and making capital expenditures, such as like in the case of Walmart. We know they're spending it heavily to open new stores um, going, going global here. So uh, that makes a lot of sense to us. We know that Walmart stores are very profitable, so do uh, create more stores would just make it that much more profitable. It's a good idea. Uh, if you had a situation where maybe the management um, stumbles and they decide that you know what they think that uh, horse-drawn buggies are going to be you know the next new thing you're going to take over automobiles and so they want to invest in uh, buggy whip you know company and then that would probably be a poor investment even though you'd see a negative number they'd be sending money out to make that investment uh, it would still be a bad idea. So you need to analyze more than just the number, whether it's positive or negative. Actually look at what the company's doing, what the management of the company's doing. That's important because they're moving your money. It's your company. You are the stockholder. You own this company. They work for you. You want to keep an eye on how they're managing your money. Okay. Uh, so regardless how you look at it, typically you're going to look for negative numbers being, okay, you're expanding the company, but then analyze deeper and ask yourself, what are they doing exactly? Does it make sense? Okay. One last item I'd like to bring to your attention here. Let's assume for easy math's sake that uh, Walmart stores decides in one period that they want to buy 
a company's stock, and that would be in the investment section right here, long-term investments. And they, they say, okay, we're going to go and we're going to buy this company's stock. And let's say the stock was trading for $100 a share. And they go out and they buy one share. Then you would see a negative number here, $100, showing that cash $100 float, flowed out of, this, of the company and they acquired this investment. Now let's say that the next year, uh, the company that they invested into, the stock had fallen from $100 down to $75. And they did, Walmart uh, management decided that maybe they were wrong on the company or for whatever reason they needed to sell that um, stock. Maybe they needed to raise cash or whatever. So they sell it at $75, that new low price, right? So they sell it. That that time period, you would see a positive $75 here as $75 flowed back into the company. Take note that they did not make any adjustments for the fact that they had lost $25 in that trade. Uh, that's just the, the cash flow statement is not making any adjustments to, you know, oh, this is a gain or oh, this is a loss. They're not doing that. They're only showing you cash flowed in or cash flowed out. Okay? And now you know. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.